I'm gonna tell you right now, it's electric. Put Ollie right here. I could put Ollie right back there. Me and you right up here. Oh, that would fit. Man, that thing is neat. Yeah, there ain't no look at how narrow that is. 20 mile max range before you have to charge. Two hours worth of fun. I mean, I like that one too, but I mean that'd be fun. I don't think I could get in and out of that now that she's not over here close. That's kind of neat. I kind of like that too. What do y'all think? Y'all think we need one of them? I need a deer hunting buggy. I need a deer hunting buggy. Woo. I've got issues with one of my uh, trail cameras started last night I don't know what the problem is but it just keeps taking pictures which you know wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing but my plan only has uh, so many pictures a month and it's taking more pictures than it should be taking there ain't nothing there it's just taking pictures so I don't know what's wrong with it so I'm gonna go down here and turn it off Maybe clean the lens. Maybe there's a spider web on the lens or something. I don't know. So we're going to go down there, turn it off, clean the lens up, let it sit for a minute, turn it back on, see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I had quite a bit of problems this year with cameras. I meant to tell you, I don't know if I did or not, but uh, we got uh, the one that wasn't working, sent it off. And uh, it was like pulling teeth to get it back. But uh, anyway, we got it back. We actually got two back. They sent us two. And uh, so I put both of them out. And one's working great. The other one, like I said, is, uh, well, it's got problems. It's trying to do too much. Tucker dog wanted to get a little exercise too, so he decided to come with me. If I could get the gate to cooperate. That's all right. Just go ahead and stay open. There ain't nothing back here anyway. Whew. I also noticed this morning, because I've already come down here once and thought I had it fixed. It didn't work. I noticed this morning that something has gotten into the fence and I don't think I don't really think that it was already like that Boy, the gnats are bad down here today um, I think I, I think I would have noticed it if it was already done you know and what I'm saying is if uh, we had as you can see these piles of we had a bulldozer come down through here and clean a bunch of stuff off. And you would have thought, you know, if he got into the fence, that, uh, well, the fence wasn't here when he was bulldozing, so that can't be what it was. I don't know. I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Also, threw out some sweet taters, see? Some sweet taters. Got a little corn there. Got my little hut. I got my little hut. But it starts right about here. You can see that second second strand right there. It's still up. But see how loose it is? And then right after you get past this pole here. It's broke. Now we don't have any cattle in here or anything. So it's not a major deal. Fairly easy fix. But see it's tied back here. So something. I don't know. And it actually broke it. 
it actually broke it right here. I don't know if something's hit it. That's what I was kind of looking for to see if I could find uh, some fur or something on it. You know what I mean? I'm not seeing any fur. So I don't know. I don't know what happened. But it's been tied back right here. And it's the last time I checked, animals don't have thumbs. So they couldn't, you know, do all that twisting and stuff. So it was some kind of human tied that back is what I'm trying to say. I'm not a man of science, but, you know, you got to have thumbs to do that kind of stuff. So it could have been an ape, a primate, I guess. We just don't have many of those around here. Um, a Sasquatch, maybe? I don't know. Do they have thumbs? Never seen one. I don't know. Just don't know. But I would have thought that, uh, you know, I've been down here a few times and I would have thought I'd have noticed that. I didn't. I didn't notice it. Here's our camera, and it's actually went off a couple times since I've been here. So we're going to open this thing up, turn it off. Let it sit off for just a minute, and I'm going to take and clean that lens a little bit. We'll see what that does. Tucker, what are you chasing out there in the woods, buddy? Don't you get into a bunch of dead gum beggar lice. You hear me? Don't you get a whole bunch of stuff in your fur and I have to get it out. I'm standing here waiting for it to take my picture so I can get an idea if it's going to work or not. Take my picture. I'm gonna show y'all how to eat this stuff. Now this is in the uh, uh, appetizer menu. Where are we at? Uh, El Palenque or something like that. I'm not sure. Ash Flat, Arkansas. Yeah, but there are about every Mexican restaurant will have something like this. It's basically just a bowl of cheese with meat, uh, shrimp, chicken, and uh, steak. And it comes with tortillas, and you just load this sucker up. You just load this sucker up. Roll her up. So if you're tired of eating the same thing, I'll see if I can't figure out the name of it and maybe bleep bloop it down in there so y'all know what to order. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I didn't see anything on the camera. I turned her off, wiped all the sensors and the lenses out and turned it back on. It, it took one picture of me standing there. And uh, so I've walked off now, headed back towards the Hacienda. That's house for all you gringos. And uh, see if it takes a picture with nothing in front of it. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe there was a mouse down there having having a good time. I don't know. I don't think so. Though. There was definitely a woodpecker down there. He was a pecking like crazy. Tucker loves coming down here. All these new smells. He probably pees on all the trees, though, and keeps the deer away, now that I'm thinking about it. That's all right. Got to have some fun. Where are you going, buddy? Did you have a good time? Did you have a good trip? Hmm? Did you enjoy getting out? Did you enjoy getting out of the house? Where's he at? Where's he at, Tucker? Hunt him up. Get him.
Hunt him up. Get him. Get him. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Hunt him up, buddy. Hunt him up. Get him. He's tarred. <laughs> ah, he is tarred. I think we probably better get the eggs while we're out here. I don't think they've actually all laid yet today, but we might as well get them while we're here. Tuck, you want to get some eggs? I don't know. Um, used to hear about that all the time when I was younger. And maybe it's just the breed of dog. I don't know. Do y'all have a problem with egg sucking dogs? You know what I'm saying? You heard that expression? Egg sucking dog? I don't think I've ever had a dog eat an egg. I don't know. Just come to my head when I was talking about getting the eggs and had Tucker running around. He don't want nothing to do with eggs. Don't care nothing about it. Ollie don't care nothing about it. And come to think of it, I ain't never had a dog that cared anything about eggs. I don't know. Maybe back then they were so poor they couldn't afford dog food or something, so they decided that the dog just decided he'd eat the eggs. I mean, that sounds plausible. I don't know. Look here. What are y'all doing in there? What are y'all doing in there? Are y'all dust bathing? Huh? Are y'all dust bathing? Y'all look at these holes. I know you can't really tell it, but there's holes all in here where they've been dust bathing in there. Ooh. We got raspberries. I need to get in there and pick on them. What are you doing, sissy? Hmm? Huh? What are you doing? You sunbathing? Y'all know why they do that? Hmm? Do y'all know why they just dust bathe like that? I need to tell him those need to be picked. There's several out there. Yep. Um, they dust bathe to get the mites and stuff off of. It's like a bug repellent. takes care of the itchies y'all ever get the itchies well if you do run out there and roll around in the dirt that ought to stop it oh we were gonna get eggs we better go get them almost forgot i got distracted by the the raspberries hey now we got one in there Two in there, one in there, and one back there. I'm gonna have to start coming out here with a basket. Y'all stand by. What do you think, Tuck? You gonna check the duck coop? Think we're gonna check the duck coop? I do. I do while we're here, buddy. Yep. Yep. So that is what? Seven? Yep. If my mathematics is right. Seven before noon. That ain't bad. We'll probably get at least three more before the day's over with. We're getting about a dozen a day right at it, ten or so, you know. Not bad. Not bad for some new hens and some older hens. Yo, I got a rooster that does the John Cena. If I can get him to do it.
Let's go. Let's go. Throw out some corn. They've almost eat all my sweet taters. I don't know where my wagon is. Huh. Well, I don't guess we're going to use a wagon, are we? Found a wagon. Whew. Found the wagon. Wanted to show y'all something. Some, most of the time I can't see them when the uh, leaves are green. But when they're starting to fall, I can sure pick them up. Look at that maple. Man, them things are pretty. And I seen another one right back there. It was a little smaller. So there's a few more around here actually than what I thought there was. I mean, you know, for every one, for every 20 oak trees, there's Maybe one. How's you fellas' uh, deer season going? I hope it's going better than mine. Seems like every evening I'm just striking out here lately. I might ought to start just eating this corn. Tucker, you ready to head back? No. no, he could stay out here all day. He loves it. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's flip this around where you can see something besides my ugly mug. Look at this thing. It's like it's on fire. Ain't that thing pretty? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous.
orange on top or red on top and yellow's on the bottom. Beautiful. Now as we're getting closer to the house, you're going to see that one up there in the yard. See it up there? How it's popping out. That's what I like about <clears throat> maples. Now granted, you can get some maples that have shallow roots where the roots just grow right across the top of the ground. I don't care for them. Lawnmower seems to get into them. But whatever kind this is, I don't know if it's a sugar, Japanese, I don't know, because I didn't plant it. Wild. Man, them things are fire. They don't have roots that grow out on the ground, really. And they sure make a difference growing in a... Well, you can see behind it, the greens and the browns, and then you got that. Then you got that. Well, our trip is over. I wanted to show y'all. Let me get this parked up right here. I haven't showed you in a while, so I want to show you. I don't know if you can see it. Now, granted, last night was the first night we've got any rain in two or three weeks, and don't look like we're going to get much more for a while. So I haven't watered in a while, is what I'm trying to tell you. And the rain we did get probably less than a half an inch. But if you can see it, it's hard to see because the leaves are falling. But my grass is stretching. Well, it's almost out there to the burn pile. You know, all this was just dirt and horrible dirt at that. Nothing but just a rocky mess. But it's stretching on out there now. And I have no doubt that if I'd have been more vigilant and uh, watered a little bit more, I would have gotten a lot better stand too. You know, but uh, actually needs mowed right up there. I may have. To I may have to get on the old lawn more Do a little mowing. Probably one more time this year. And I may have to mulch the leaves one time. I don't know. Just don't know. Well, folks. Oh, you want to see this too, I'm assuming, right? Still some dirt patches, but even those dirt patches have grass growing on it. But yeah, see, it's filling in. Filling in real good. And I hadn't watered any of this either. Like I said, there's still some dirt patches here. And some of the grass that I've planted is actually going dormant. I can tell that it's already going brown. That right up in there is going brown already. And that's fine, I knew it would. Uh, it's getting to be that time of the year. What is great though is the roots have gotten established. So that's what I wanted. That's what I needed. This little this little maple here that we planted, it's a red maple. It sure shows that it looks like fire, right? And maybe it's going to. But the uh, the leaves are just you know they're they're just yellows on the tips. So I don't know. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I need to add a little bit more dirt here on the bottom of this. I don't like that the top of the root ball is uh, exposed and I still don't know that I'm going to keep it here which is why the hole is kind of temporary when I built it. Built it. I, I just built me a hole right there when I dug it. You know, sorry. When I dug it. <sighs> yeah, well. This weekend, we're fixing to go in, me and Tucker Dog and uh, Ollie Jean, and watch the Razorbacks play. Yeah.
and uh, so yeah got to fix some lunch I don't know what we're having yet for lunch oh lord don't scare them don't scare them I need to gather eggs did y'all do anything in there huh did y'all lay any in there no all right hey folks enjoy your weekend enjoy your weekend i need to go put this in the burn barrel while i'm thinking of it come back and see us right here little nuts farm don't forget to like share comment and subscribe it does a lot for the channel and we'll catch you guys on down the road bye bye well it's time again it is time again we've got to go get the eggs y'all want to go with me let's go get the eggs Whew. it's a little early uh, it's about two o'clock so i'm not thinking there's going to be a bunch in there i'll probably have to come back probably sitting still here in this box i don't know why they want to come over here in the duck house I guess because it's quiet over here during the day because there's no chickens in and out, no ducks in and out. We got three there. What do you think, Tuck? Hmm? So let's uh, let's put these three over here because I know I'm going to have to do some acrobatics in this chicken house. Of nesting boxes in here. One, two, three, and uh, oh, look at you! What are you doing in there, huh? You laying? Oh, looky there! It looks like they have not been laying in there. So, hey, no acrobats today. Maybe they're starting to figure it out. Maybe they're starting to figure it out. I'll leave you alone, sweetheart. I'll have to come back and get hers after a while, but that's what four, four, five, six, seven. That's seven, two o'clock. That's not bad. I'll bet you there's at least two under her, so that'd be nine. That's about right. About nine or ten a day is what we're getting, which is great. I mean, fantastic. 